Yeah, because of the key role uh, of its the domestic transportation, Wuhan was regarded as the Chicago of China. You know, yeah, I love Chicago both. It's another question. And uh, it's recognized as political, <coughs> economic, financial, cultural, and educational and the transportation center of central China. Yeah, you know. This is in Chang, and uh, here is Wuhan University, and uh, this is Kanto, wow. This is Hanyang, and uh, this is Yangtze River. Yeah. Okay. Covering uh, 373 hectares, Wuhan University has a picturesque physical features and uh, assigning to Luojia Hills and the beautiful East Lake. You know, its campus is heavily wooden and green with fragrant flowers everywhere year round. And the Wuhan University is widely known as one of the most beautiful universities in China, especially for its cherry blossom. And we can see it later. And in the spring, a cherry blossom festival is heard every year in the spring. And most established building, uh, just like this, most established building was designated by F. H. Kales, who is educated in MIT. And uh, he was a pioneer to blend the Western uh, agricultural styles with the uh, traditional Chinese elements. And here are the beautiful views of Wuhan University. And uh, this is the, oh yeah. This is the administration's building, yeah, which, which is used uh, to be well, yeah, which used uh, to be the engineering building several decades ago. Yeah, and uh, this is the old library, you know, uh, the symbol of Wuhan University. Uh, across more than one hundred years, it still stands and uh, is now utilized as one of the uh, rooms for individual study. And uh, yeah, this is also the, the library. And uh, this is the cherry blossom. During the cherry blossom festival every year, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of people come to Wuhan University. And uh, you know, maybe you have never seen so many people, and I will show you. <laughs> and this is cherry blossom. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we say uh, the people are more than the cherry blossom. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, uh, yeah, in the autumn of Wuhan University, the campus was decorated with a golden coat. Yeah, and uh, here, yeah, they're my friends. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they're my friends in Wuhan University, and uh, you know, friends in Wuhan University, uh, yeah, students in Wuhan University uh, are friendly, and they would like to make friends with international students, and they would like to help others. Uh, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> and in winter, the snow-covered landscape is so romantic, you can say. And uh, with your lover walking around, <laughs> I think it's, uh, it'll be a dream land. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the nocturne. Yeah. This is, and uh, 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 there are there are lines. Yes, uh, you can say. There are five lines here, and uh, uh, you know, Peking University. Oh uh, yeah, where is my friend from Peking University? Yeah, here. Uh, yeah, you know, Peking University has six lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's ranking first in, in the China uh, 15 years later, and the Wuhan University has five lines. So it's ranking second in China 15 years ago, and the Tsinghua University. Uh, have four lines, so it's ranked third. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going to talk about the history. And founded in 1893, Wuhan University is one of the oldest universities in China. And as time goes by, it, it has gradually established its reputation and uh, achieved the increasing success. And uh, you know, the university dates back to Ziqiang Institute. And uh, which was founded in 1893 by Zhang Zhidong, the governor of Hubei and the Hunan provinces. 
and uh, in, late, uh, in the late Qing Dynasty. And later it changed its name several times, and you can see it. And uh, uh, before it's named the National Wuhan University in July 1928. And it was among the first group of the international universities in modern China. In February 1929, uh, the jurist Wang Shijian became our first president of Wuhan University. And uh, during the war of resistance against Japan, Wuhan University moved to Lushan, Sichuan provinces, a uh, Sichuan province, and uh, returned to Luojia Hills after the war. And the next, uh, I'm going to talk about a person. Yeah, his name is well, yeah, his name is Liu Daoyu, the admirable former president of our Wuhan University. Yeah, he's widely He's widely regarded as one of the uh, one of the best educators in China and the forerunner in high education reform in China, and he gave up several chances to be the dignitary in Chinese government and uh, stay in Wuhan University of his own free will. You know, during the years as president of Wuhan University, he set up several uh, several systems, the credit system double degree system, main manner system, major training system, third, sec third semester system, and uh, student subsidy system, all of which seems euro today, but you know, uh, it's a great innovation at that time for China, yeah, for China high education reform. And his hope is to make Wuhan University an open, liberal, domestic, and innovative university. And uh, now, you know, now Wuhan University is widely regarded as top 10 university in China and uh, it's one of the most prestigious universities under the direct administration of the Ministry of Education in China. And the excellence in education has become a signature of its domestic and international reputation. Currently, the university has 3,500 faculty members, and there are about 32,000 undergraduate students, 13,000 students, uh, 30,000 master students, and 7,000 PhD students, and 2,100 international students on campus. And uh, the, the university has six faculties: the Faculty of Humanities. Social Sciences, Sciences, Engineering, Information Sciences, and Medicine, which consists of 36 schools and departments covering 11 disciplines, namely Philosophy, uh, Economics, Law, uh, Education, Literature, History, and Science and Engineering, Agriculture, and uh, Medicine and Management. You know, and it offers 111 undergraduate programs, and now it's 114 pro undergraduate like programs, nice. and uh, two, uh, 317 master programs, and 400 and, uh, uh, 248 doctor programs. And now, yeah, burning are the international exchanges of the universities. It has developed a cooperative and exchange associations with 300 universities and the research institutions and sign long term and sign yeah, yeah, and sign long term cooperative agreements with two hundred of them. You can say it. And each year it welcomes over two thousand and five hundred international professors and one thousand and five hundred students from over one hundred countries and regions for academic visit and exchange. And we welcome you to come to our school to uh, to part in our exchange students, to, to, to be our exchange students. And now, Wuhan University is endeavoring to shape its world class, uh, to, to, to shape itself to be a world class research university domestically, domestically and internationally. Yeah, I love, to, I sincerely appreciate you, CELF's executive team, for your tireless preparation and uh, 
the best wishes to the success of Duke UNC China Leadership Summit and the friendship between the United States and the People's Republic of China. And the Wuhan University always welcomes all of you to visit our university. And thank you.